it's Sarah with Obadiahs and today I'm here to show you guys the Osborne 2000 wood insert. Anything titled a wood insert is going to be designed to be installed into a masonry application and possibly a prefabricated fireplace if your owner's manual states that you can place a wood insert in there and also assuming that you have enough space to fit the insert inside. So this model is going to be EPA 2020-20 approved, but it does not meet the tax credit. This is shown in all black. You can also get the door in nickel. Um, and you can also, so this is the low profile surround. They do have the higher profile surround as well that would go taller. So you kind of just want to measure your opening around your fireplace insert to see what's going to fit your needs the best. Um, this model, you do, you can install it either more flush, depending on how much room that you have, or if you want it to protrude out the front. Some people are looking for wood inserts that like have a little lip that sticks out the front of the unit so they can place a pan. So with the Osborne, you can kind of slide it back and have it more flush or pull it out and have it more protruded, but you just need to make sure that you have your hearth require clearances out the front of the unit. In the United States, your hearth needs to extend 16 inches and Canada it needs to be 18 inches. So this is gonna be shown in the all black. Again, you can get a nickel door. Inside the firebox is fully gasketed. It does take a standard size fire brick, which makes it super, super easy for replacement parts. You do have the reburn tubes and the baffle system located at the top of the stove, which is gonna give you those high efficiency levels. All of the Osborne stoves do have the air wash on them as well, so they burn super nice and your blower cabinet is going to be located here on the bottom of the unit. As you can see, this is just going to be a standard 110 cord that plugs into the wall. I think this is like a six foot cord that it comes standard with. You can also opt to have this hardwired into a switch on the wall as well. Um, all of the Osborne units, their blowers do operate on that snap disc. So I think you gotta hit about like 250 degrees before your blower will actually kick on. So this is the Osborne 2000 Masonry Wood Insert. If you guys like these videos, don't forget, give it a quick little thumbs up. Click the subscribe button in the corner of the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.